Um, so next is from Andrew. And the subject is UFC Prez does rant on Matt Riddle. Hey, guys, I was wondering what your reaction to Dana White, UFC's president's rant on Matt Riddle. Not sure if this is new or old. Um, do you pull it up, Joe? I think I've seen this. I think it is old. It's definitely not yeah, new. Yeah, I think. Yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 he yeah, it's very old. Rules. Right. You want to play it? How long is it? Um, it's on Instagram, but it didn't. Oh, here it oh is. is this the one where he, where Chael Sonnen is interviewing him? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Riddle. Riddle left or L Riddle was released from UFC because he was he failed a couple of weed, you know. Right, so right. anyway, recently as a, a young, young man, man who was given a huge, huge opportunity, opportunity, put on the ultimate fighter, put in the UFC, and again, again, his name is Orange. Orange. Okay, an orange is actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm changing the uh, the sound. Okay, it should be good. Riddle, what are your thoughts on this gentleman? Yeah, that, that's a you know. The story that was written that he, he uh, made all these allegations about mixed martial arts uh, businesses are run by these, these, these bad guys, these scumbags and this and that. Uh, he basically said, I, you know, I, I want to get back out in the real world now and start working. I want to get a job where I know I'm going to get a paycheck. I'm not going to get punched in the face and get brain damage. And, and, and uh, I know I'm going to be treated fairly. And, and uh, you know, he said that we treated him unfairly and our competitor treated him unfairly. I don't want to sound like a go whatever. Well, those guys signed him, and now they won't give him a fight until January. If you sign a if you sign a contract with the UFC, I owe you three fights in a year. If you don't fight those three fights in a year because of me, I still have to pay you your money, right? So he said that since 2000, from 2011 to 2013, that guy was making 162 thousand dollars a year. Wow. Now understand this. The guy fights on prelims. You know, does, 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 he, does Matt Riddle sell any more tickets? Does he sell any more pay-per-views? The guy's fighting on the prelims, okay? He's fighting his way up to get the opportunity to possibly someday become a big star in the sport. Um, then he comes out and says, all these, like, we treated him horrible. He's treated so horrible here. You were making $162,000 a year. He's making something like fifty-two dollars or $54,000 a fight, and you fight three times a year unless you get injured or something like that happens. We have health insurance here, which has never been done in the history of the world with fight promoters, okay? Now, the reason he's not in the UFC anymore is because he could not pass a... The guy couldn't pass a... Okay? So he, he couldn't... And think about this. You have to go to work three times a year, and you couldn't pass a... You're so weak-minded and so addicted to... that you couldn't stay off it enough to pass it three times a year. Well, guess what, dummy? They in the real world, too. You think you're going to go to work 325 days a year and not get... Right? He's yeah, going to pass it three times a year, but he's going to pass it in the real world. Right? And I want to know where this rocket scientist is going to go and make a hundred something thousand dollars a year. Right? <laughs> and also, this is the guy, Matt Riddle, who did an interview and said, I smoke marijuana, so I don't my wife and children. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. I want to point out MMA junkie, the, 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 the people that did this story took one side of the story and they're writing this big story about a guy who, who said, I smoke but wife and kids and only got his side of the story. Real journalism. Real journalism. Wow. No, Dana, real journalism is wrestling journalism. Get your <laughs> That was a well. He was right, and he was That's wrong. That's a great promo. Well, he was, that was right ten years ago. Yeah. He predicted they would fail drug tests in the future, future jobs, but right. he did find a job making more than one hundred sixty-two thousand dollars a year yeah, for, for the WWE. Sure. Right. He, <laughs> so, he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Bro, you know what I read, and I don't know. How nope. they... Go ahead, Di. Hit something over your back. Yeah, bro. I read that. When he was in the airport and he was, hey, you can't touch me like that, and all that other made a big scene. He was on. Oh, really? I I've read that he. Yeah. They, they, it was being reported that he appeared drunk or something. I didn't hear that. Ooh. Yeah. Suspicious. Look it up. Yeah. Coney, you're gonna like this one, I think. Um. Right. From this one's called. Oh, just real, real quick on that on the riddle email. Sorry, dude. I just that you know the the Twitter world and the wrestling rumors world is uh 
swirl and then saying it's very coincidental that once uh endeavor you know ufc and WWE come together that riddle gets fired like dane has still had a grudge against Riddle or something like that you know maybe which hey yeah, yeah and, well so let's be honest the guy was on probation and was supposed to be squeaky clean if he had an if he had another incident we could definitely see the right on the wall yeah yep yeah. yep yep next one's okay. from Brand, brendan triano subject is the wonderful mind of joe hey it's the mayor of k100 i got a problem with our producer joseph l murfini I would like you to know that Joe here has confused me, the mayor, a large black man, with big country, a large white man. The issue with this is big country suspended forever, and I am not. So my emails <laughs> haven't been read for weeks. So I want Joe to think about this as he slowly lowers the brightness on his computer so he doesn't get sunburned from it, that he needs <laughs> to pay attention so innocent people don't suffer. When you add raisins to your potato salad, think about how you have negatively, affected the, negatively impacted the black community of K100. I would never do that. One step forward, two steps back. Shame, Joseph. Shame. My question this week is about Jade Cargo going to WWE. We all know WWE is the right place to become a star. I feel people focus too much on her in-ring flaws, and they are not noticing uh, she will be developing on the mic as well. Talking well is where the money is. The in-ring will come as she is with she as she is with the experienced women. So if Jade were to fall into your responsibility to to develop, what would be your plan of attack to make her stand out character at WWE? P.S. Uh, Larry came off like such a Harry was on. Um, Pineapple head. Larry is close to being banned from New Jersey, like body. I need James Jan Gandolfini to give the okay. Larry will say he doesn't care, but when he, he can't go to any Giants home games in the Meadowlands, he will think twice about disrespecting Harry Chilaquiles Ruiz. Wait a minute. <laughs> Chilaquiles. Harry Chilaquiles. Is this That's Harry funny. under the name Brendan Trail? I will say, Joe, let me ask a question. I would I would have thought that it's at some point. Um, your your white supremacy, uh, your alt right uh, um, attitude would 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 anger our the black community, our, the black fans of K100, which you've done with uh, with Brendan Triano. By how did you confuse it with Big Country? By the way, it's been like that since Discord started. I just keep getting, I keep thinking one guy is the other, and I think I finally got it right now because Big Country suspended for life, so that's not too hard to uh, right. remember. Yeah. All right, next um, one is from uh, what was the uh, what, what, what how would you guys uh, what would your plan of attack be for Jade Cargill to, to get her developed right? I, I gotta see how season she is first, she you know? easy, I mean, bro. Really, the, the, sit here, right the sit here, bro. She's she look at her, bro. I mean, they're making really about well, her plus, too, plus two, yeah. plus well, they two. Should. Look she, at her, she, yeah. can, mm -hmm. she can go toe to toe with Becky, Becky Lynch on the mic. You know, like Becky Lynch is not going to try. It's not going to. It's not going to rip that girl on the mic. Cause she, you know, she's she's pretty confident when she speaks. Yeah, she, yeah but she's Becky okay. Lynch. But but no, no, she's not, I but, could you know. see her. I could see her definitely in a couple years, like in Hollywood, bro. Yeah, and plus two. Let's be honest. Well, whatever they do with her, the woman's division needs something. It's been right. very stale, you know. And then yes. the, like, maybe introducing a couple new characters in top spots. We'll shake things up a little bit. Make right, it like if they brought her in and they brought that yeah. Stratton girl in and right. bro, they got a lot of talent in NXT, bro. I'm very surprised and impressed with that show. Shout outs to our boy, Jeremy Borash. Boom. Interesting. Oh, and the NWA um, I, girl too. They brought her in. I heard um, they produced a pretty good fight scene this week with Braun Breaker and, uh, and Baron Corbin. Did you watch that Conan? No, but I've been watching. I'm going to watch it this week, but I've been watching their stuff and it's good. Next is from our boy down under, Luke Smith, who sends uh, me and Conan DMs with uh, rugby and Australian League football highlights of, uh, of fights big and, hits, and fights yeah. and stuff and concussions. Um, <laughs> subject is Larry Harry Heat. Hey, fellas, it's your boy from down under, Luke Smith, once again enjoying the tremendous weekly content. Larry said at the end of the segment that he wants someone else to step up, so here's my comment from a long-term fan of the best podcast in the game. If KG and Billy Body were to have a child, I'm certain Larry would be their son. He's a mix between the two of them. He thinks that it doesn't stink. He's condescending. And just like KG and Billy, he comes across as an arrogant who really has no right to be arrogant. I mean, who are you, bro? Stay in your lane. Tell us the Lucha News. Be respectful. And top, stop taking yourself so seriously. In terms of secondhand embarrassment for the listeners, your drunk personal attack on Disco was on par with KG being by Don Callis and Lance Storm. And that in itself shows why most of the fan base bury you. Love your work, Harry Ruiz. From one fan to another, you represent the K100 Nation with class. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. That's from Luke Smith. <laughs> what, do you think about the, what do you think about the comments from Luke Smith here? I love the continental love all the way from Australia for Harry. 
Well, you know, Harry's cool dude, bro, and he comes off as what he is, a cool, laid-back guy, where Larry, I'd, I've said it before, he has a very high opinion of himself, comes off arrogant, and I think some of that is shtick, because he never, ever has ever acted like that around me. Interesting. Did you think when he uh, came on that time and, and went after Disco during that segment, did you think the audience was going to kind of rush to Disco's defense like they have, or do you think 100%, that they were going to... 100%, uh, because he came off like yeah. a you know, and I even told them, I go, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you have it now because you're drunk. I want you to understand what I say. The next time he came on, which was like two weeks later, I let him have a little something, something, you know, because I thought he was very out of hand. And I, I was very mad at the fact he kept referring to disco. He's a lot of things, but he ain't no con man. So he kept saying con man, con man. And that week Rift, I happened just Rift, Rifter. Gr- and con man. Oh, man and right. so and and during the and that week just by chance i happened to read something about Meltzer, where he was calling i think Russo or eric bischoff con man. Yeah, i'm con, like con, that's con, where he got it from you know right, right. that's just and very when I asked him, I mean, and when i asked him for an explanation he had none right it's just that's just really absurd language to talk about the people that have done it been in the business and stuff, you know, paid their dues and stuff. Right. To, to bro, use the term "rifter" and "common" for those people, bro. Like, let me just tell to, like, you something. The community who have never been in the business and just write about it, and are making money drawing fans, writing about dirt on wrestlers. Bro, let me tell you what you the know, problem like, is. Yeah. Everybody in this business that wasn't a part of the business wants to jump on the parade float and be part of the parade. So they all have gimmicks and shtick, and you know double person bro it's a wrestling business you know so everybody's on here like in character yeah uh, like I said, he doesn't he doesn't act like that in real life you know like nah, so he's, he's, no i, I got yeah. no problem with that larry he was drunk one day yeah. and just cut promos on. but the, 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 the length the promo was absurd yeah he's actually a cool laid-back guy i don't know what, <laughs> but, it, don't but know it is funny he, yeah. A lot of our OG fans, listeners, like the original people right. who have been with us for years, that they're all in agreement that they don't like Larry. It's kind of interesting right. if you notice that. Right. Because he was disrespectful. And to them, right. they're like, all right, we like this show. Why are you yeah. disrespecting the host? You're a guest. Right. Not you even know? that. It's like we listen to the show every week. Why are you like, are you making us feel stupid for, for listening to a con man is what basically you're saying. You know, so, right. <laughs> when you can write, yeah. So next plus, even, my, even, okay. even though Larry's done some things where he's worked for Evolve and he works for AAA now and stuff, and he was on MTV briefly, I think the listeners see him like they would see me or KG or Billy, where it's all like, you guys are the hosts and we're all under, and the guys that are under should show respect to the guys that are over top of them. And so when Larry didn't show respect, I think that's why they took it personally. Like, who's this guy? He shouldn't be, you know throwing stones at disco or whatever because who is he yeah yeah next is from alexis figueroa and the subject is eddie kingston hello team seeing eddie kingston winning the ring of honor title proved two things one that the ring of honor title means nothing and two that this would be the end of eddie kingston his biggest perk was to act as the underdog overlooked guy now he's a double champion that's no longer the case question do you think this will work for his character does he even matter since ring of honor ain't keep up the great work p.s 49ers are looking special in both offense and defense yes they are um, hmm. bro, if bring, there's way too many belts at the AEW. Like every match, the guy walks out with a belt. I mean, I mean, they're they're meaningless, you know. Like the Ring of Honor title means absolutely nothing to me. The the one open weight New Japan tremendous, title yeah. th- that's completely meaningless. How about the the <laughs> yeah. two of Atlantic them. International yeah. title? Yeah, you were right. All these are just the, 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 I guess they just they they maybe like Tony's like a belt collector mark too. And just likes belts, like seeing all these belts really? to show. <laughs> no, it's kind of weird, right? It's probably really cool um, for Eddie, but uh, winning the Ring of Honor title now is like winning the ECW belt when WWE put it on sci fi or or like The Rock. Did you know The Rock was WCW champion? Of course not. Why would because you oh, because you'd say, How is that possible? Because you became WCW here's champion. Thing, here's the thing yeah. about here's the thing about Eddie. He kind of grew up in the business when Ring of Honor was kind of hot, so mm-hmm. he followed that i don't did he wrestle there joe in ring of honor here and there later on like i okay. don't think he ever felt accepted so, by that yeah but all his friends like homicide that guy that passed away xavier like he looked up to those guys you know so for him it probably does mean something to the fans i don't think it does and as far as eddie uh, this is not the, i think the guy asked is this the end of him or 
like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, he just signed a four-year contract, so it can't right. be the end. You know, mm -hmm. he's mega over no matter what. He's mega over the people like him. And I still, you don't, I still, don't, don't try to fight against the grain. Just figure out why is he over? People like him. They like his promos. They like, I'm from the street, even though he's uh, out of shape. Yeah, but he's, yeah, right. You know, New Yorker with the thick accent, doesn't really shave, doesn't give a, f you know, street he doesn't fighter. take himself too seriously. Well, that's, yeah. that, that, right. And he would be good if he was good at looking like he could street fight. But he doesn't. Right. He but does bro, we, but, but, like I said, but I, I you thought, can't, that's you my can't discount story. the fact, Disco, that well, we've met a did. lot of guys that, that look like him that can fight. Look right. at Tank Abbott. And, that, and Abbott. I'm talking yeah. about I'm, street I'm, guys. I'm, I'm like talking about street guys, bro. Like where I grew up, there were guys that had a gut, but they'd. Like these old yeah. ma ma mafia yeah. guys. People, right. you know, right. you know, but right. but my point is. His persona and his promos don't match the style that he wrestles. That that's that's all no. I'm saying. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Right. 